about two months ago, my hot end was jamming constantly and not reaching the needed temperatures to print. So I thought I would do a little upgrade and get a new E3D V6 hot end. Then I decided to finally install a MOSFET to take off some of the load on the printer's board as it's been noted that the onboard MOSFET isn't that great. After that, I decided to go all in and change the belts with some higher quality ones as well as change the original power supply with an ATX power supply that is a little bit more reliable. Now I would like to take a retrospective look at the TiVo Tarantula and my overall experiences with this printer. I purchased the, the TiVo Tarantula in 2017 when I believe it was at its height in popularity. At the time, I was taking an Internet of Things class in college, and the instructor had just purchased a 3D printer. That's where my interest was, that's when my interest was sparked. And that night, I went on a YouTube binge and started looking at all kinds of videos of exactly what 3D printers were. At some point in the YouTube rabbit hole, I ran across people reviewing affordable 3D printer kits, and that's where I found the Tarantula. With the help of Arcade Ed's YouTube videos, I was able to successfully assemble the printer, although I did install the printer backwards, like I installed some of the, the boards and like, like just a couple of things were backwards. I remember I couldn't get the printer to like home right. So I posted it on the on uh, the TiVo Tarantula Facebook group. And a lot of people were telling me that I had like a bunch of things backwards. But I think it's just because I was trying to like follow the video too exactly. I, I don't know. Anyways. So um, also in the Facebook uh, group, I was reading a lot of uh, kind of horror stories about the people... About people getting dead boards and power supplies upon receiving their shipments. Um, luckily, I was I was lucky enough that I got a kit with everything working, as well as all the correct amount of screws and bolts. One thing that I would like to note is after building my printer, I really didn't do too much upgrades on the printer besides installing a part cooling fan and printing braces to make it a little bit more sturdy and stable. So about after, I would say about two years of printing, I started to notice that my, my, my bed was not leveling anymore. And I realized that the acrylic mount that was holding my bed together cracked. And it was basically impo impossible for me to print anything anymore. So once again, I was lucky enough to uh, find on the TiVo Tarantula Facebook group somebody selling aluminum replacement parts, specifically aluminum uh, bed replacements. So I uh, put in an order for that and I was able to fix that. Now I had really no problems um, with with the printer for about another year until until the power cables got fried on the board. So this was something that probably could have been avoided if I would have installed a MOSFET um, since the, the beginning, but I um, was still not too confident in wiring or if I had to solder stuff, so I kind of just left it alone and was hoping that everything would be fine, but um, the, the power cables ended up getting too hot, melted the connectors, so, um, in an act of desperation, I basically unplugged all the wires on the board and attempted to solder the wires directly back on the board. So after a couple of hours of frustration, I was able to solder the wires back on the board. And now, at this point, you would have thought I would have got a MOSFET, but I was broke. So I kind of just left it as is. And surprisingly, it never really gave me any more problems again. The, the wires, 
I got uh, both the power the power wires and the bed wires soldered onto the board. So I had no more problems after that. As I started to gain my knowledge of 3D printing, I realized how fun it was to print items that I would have otherwise had to buy. For example, I needed a cell phone tripod mount for this video, and I was able to find and print a model that worked perfectly. As time passed, I wanted to challenge myself, so I dipped my toes into 3D modeling using AutoCAD. Now, I'm not that great at modeling, but I was able to make a garden hose adapter that connects to my shower head so I can easily refill my fish tanks. This printer this little printer has opened up a whole new world to me that I really didn't know existed and for that I am grateful. I now have a new hobby that I absolutely love. Now for the rest of the video I really don't uh, have any more commentary to go for here so basically what I'm gonna just do is play some music in the background and um, that's about it so thank you guys for watching I'm sorry. 